It can reach speeds of more than 70 miles per hour, more than 110 kilometers per hour, at least for a short distance. But this is a consequence of a rather narrow hunting specialization. The cheetah most often hunts fast and maneuverable impalas and gazelles. He is strong enough to defeat wildebeest or zebra, but fighting with other large predators is a very, very bad idea for him. He has no chance against a lion, so it's also better not to mess with a hyena and a leopard. The anatomy of a light and lean cheetah is designed for a lightning-fast short chase, a quick strike into the completion of the hunt. Massive rivals are not for him, especially a giant snake that relies on brute force. Therefore, if a cheetah meets a python, it will try to simply bypass the threat. He will not be able to defeat an adult snake. As for venomous snakes, the incredible speed of running does not mean that the cheetah's reaction speed is better than that of a flash or mercury. He can dodge the cobra's throw, but why risk it if there are plenty of appetizing and mostly defenseless impalas around? In general, although mongooses and honey badgers have a reputation for snake hunters, cats practically do not lag behind their colleagues and are often the first to attack snakes. They are just universal hunters, so the fame of snake fighters has passed them by. It's a pity. Even small cats can fight back against a huge cobra. The secret of success is courage. The venomous snake has one weapon for that ultimatum. Therefore, the only chance to survive is to go straight towards danger. Therefore, cats in a fight with poisonous snakes do not attack the tail and not the trunk, but aim directly at the head. Thus, the brave animal tries to knock down the attacking brush of the enemy. If the claws hit the snake's forehead, it cannot physically reach the paws with its teeth. This tactic does not always work. In addition, small cats are vulnerable to snakes, which prefer strangulation to poison. This rather famous scene of the cat mom's confrontation with a huge python ended with the rescue of the kids because they were carrying people nearby who did not care about the balance of the world of wildlife. The cat fought bravely and threw the snake off the slope several times, but a little more, and the python would have eaten the kittens. To prevent this, people intervened at the last moment and literally pulled the snake by the tail out of the cat's lair. Would you have done the same? Or would you have taken the position of biologists who prefer the role of outside observers? Let us know in the comments. But where small cats give up, Panthers and other large relatives, on the contrary, overcome snakes. The largest representative of this family is the tiger. Its mass often exceeds a quarter of a ton. In addition to pure physical strength, he has amazing fighting skills. It seems that during hunting, the tiger uses some kind of martial arts that allow him to throw a buffalo weighing up to a ton over his shoulder, break the boar's neck with one blow, or overwhelm a deer before the ungulate realizes what happened at all. Nevertheless, the snake is a worthy opponent even for such a tough fighter. This is a very rare, still black and white video of such a duel of giants. We must give the tiger his due. His straightforward attack seems to have discouraged the python. Instead of cunning tactics, the striped beast decides to rely on something that has never failed him, crushing force. But the python, especially such a huge one, is not a pack of chips that you can just take away from the supermarket shelf to have a snack in the evening. The snake avoided the fight with all its might. She has repeatedly given warning signals to the tiger that she does not want a fight. But the striped one simply ignored the reptile and bit into its side. Then the python was forced to resort to its incredible strength. The tiger responded with fangs. The cat's jaws closed several times around the python's head and neck. To the tiger's surprise, this was not enough to end the fight in his favor. The python bit into the tiger from the side, then wrapped its rings right around him. 
The tiger's strength is incredible. Even with such a burden, he managed to jump high several times. But he never managed to slip out of the snake's grasp. Well, the python can honestly admit that it was just honest self-defense. As a result, the tiger was never able to get free. Surely during the last stage of this giant fight, he regretted that he decided to contact a snake three times his body length. After all, this python is a good 26 feet, 8 meters, of tight muscles. And to save its own life, the snake used every one of them. The tiger could not escape. The python realized that it was overpowering its enemy and did not let it go. He tightened his grip harder, then even harder, and the tiger just couldn't take a breath. The snake's muscles around his torso were so tightly tightened that the tiger could not physically straighten his chest to let air into his lungs. And then the python tightened its embrace even more to inflict critical damage to the internal organs of the striped hunter who has now become prey. There is also a relatively new video in which a tiger and a python appear to us as such heroes of a western. Two fighters met on a narrow path. They stopped to assess each other. Who was gonna shoot first? Nobody. The tiger just retreats. And the python doesn't want to mess with this guy either. Hunting is a dangerous business, but it's better to rush at bulls than to try to overcome a huge snake. Smart move for a tiger, don't you think? Although the jaguar is the only panther of the New World, it is far from the only wild cat that lives on the American continent. A worthy competitor to her is the cougar. Although it often exceeds leopards in size, the cougar is not a panther and belongs to small cats. This scientific classification is related to the structure of the skull and vocal cords. For all its size and strength, a cougar cannot growl like a lion or a tiger, but it will be able to give the snakes the same decent fight as the jaguar, huh? It turns out that everything depends on the snake. The fact is that the rattlesnake, which lives mainly in North America, is probably the fastest snake in the world. That is, if you only take into account the speed of the throw. This reptile bites almost as fast as a bullet flies into its target. Dodging the lunge is almost impossible for anyone except exceptionally agile animals. Once upon a time, Indian mongooses were even brought to America so that these animals would help farmers exterminate snakes that bite cattle. But the animal, which dealt with cobras at home without any problems, turned out to be powerless against the rattlesnake. The snake was simply too fast for it. So in a rattlesnake and cougar duel, it's better to bet on the reptile. Your chances are way higher. Rattlesnake venom has a pronounced hematoxic effect. This means that it destroys the structure of the blood and poisons the heart along with the entire circulatory system. Even a minuscule amount of poison when it gets into the blood can deal with a cougar in a couple of minutes. Fortunately, there is a mysterious balance in nature and the more terrible the poison, the more difficult it is for the snake's body to produce it. Therefore, the rattlesnake does not bite everyone that it can reach. Although this snake is not afraid of a fight, it tries to avoid it to the last minute. That's why it needs a rattle, a specific skin structure at the tip of the tail. The masking coloration, which makes it easy to sneak up on a prey, makes the reptile almost invisible even to a cougar and so that the cat does not accidentally step on such a creature, the snake deliberately betrays itself, begins to rattle the tip of its tail while taking a protective stance. That is, the snake twists the body like a big spring. The rattlesnake is ready to shoot his head at the target for a fatal bite at any moment, but deliberately delays the blow to give a random opponent time to escape. And only if the warning of the rattlesnake is ignored, and moreover, if they try to attack the snake, it attacks almost always for sure. 
and this cougar acted very wisely. It decided to be careful when it encountered a huge python in the expanses of humid Florida. In fact, in this case, the mountain lion will attack the snake in the head in order to quickly break its neck and not allow itself to be bitten. However, during the attack, the python may have time to twist and dig into the cat and then wrap its body around it. So this tactic is not a guaranteed success at all. Why does this cougar seem to taste the python and try to bite it in the middle of the body? The answer is simple. It's the first time it's ever seen such a big snake and genuinely does not know how to react to it. Fortunately, the python is not in the mood for a fight either. Instead of counterattacking, it quickly removes the torso from the puma's teeth. The cat was smart enough to understand that it was better not to mess with such a terrible creature and go look for easier prey. So this time, both opponents remained alive and did not even receive any damage. What do the masters of oriental martial arts say there? The best fight is the one that did not happen. You can give this cougar a black belt. <laughs>